Personally, I think that everything they do is a desperate attempt to keep relevant and keep themselves in the news. I mean, you could say it's very trivial to put out a notice saying, go out and vote. Um, we know people should do that. It's not really up to them to tell the American population how they should spend their time or what they should do at all. But um, in that respect, I do see them sort of once again weighing in and uh, seeking publicity because that's how they stay relevant, because they've moved into this kind of celebrity status um, situation uh, whereby they must always be attracting um, news comment. Otherwise, they disappear. And if they disappear, um, so too do all their projects and therefore their m much money, which it requires to keep their lifestyle going in Montecito. But they definitely should not be dabbling in any kind of politics, uh, least of all American politics. They have no, really no right to do it. They hope that people will listen to them and take their advice and consider them to be, I suppose, what you might call influencers. I mean, there are probably a lot of people who are telling people to go out and vote, but we don't hear about it. We only... We only hear about it because it's um, Harry and Meghan. And as usual, it's the same old situation. Because he's Prince Harry, uh, people are interested in what either of them say or do, um, even if they aren't doing anything very interesting. That's the problem. They thrive on their connection, however distant, to the royal family. There's no question about that. Otherwise, they would have surrendered their titles. They would have said, we don't need them. They're um, antiquated things and we wish to uh, go go it alone. But they haven't done that at all. It's all very much Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and all that stuff. Um, so they're relying on it very heavily. <clears throat> and therefore, although I don't see uh, this particular gesture as a sort of um, further sort of javelin at the royal family, um, I think that they are considering that they are people whose voices should be heard one way or the other for whatever reason. And I suppose if they go on making statements and people go on listening to them, they'll achieve their aim to some extent. But um, once again, all I can say is that they really shouldn't do this sort of thing at all. There are plenty of other things they can be getting on with. They can't really have it both ways. Um, and it was it made quite clear when they left that they would they should not be dabbling in politics. And I think they accepted that at the time. And whatever you say, even though they don't endorse one particular candidate, they are now dabbling in politics, which is very serious. The more distant they become, um, the more new things they have to keep thinking up. This uh, forthcoming election is very much on people's minds. It's very relevant. So what they're doing is jumping in on a relevant issue. Um, and, and I say they shouldn't do that. Um, I think you'll find they'll probably jump in on any kind of relevant issue that they can get their hands on in order to keep themselves in the public eye. This is the serious thing. That's what they're trying to do. Um, and here we are talking about it. So, as I say, they've been to some extent successful. But, you know, it's, it, won't, it won't please the British royal family at all, who scrupulously keep out of politics and... Uh, are a wonderful kind of cushion in the constitution above politics. There they are to help guide things in times when things are difficult and be a figurehead and diplomatic and so forth. And, um, you know, it doesn't help if the political views are known. And the trouble is, although they don't endorse any particular candidate, we do know that they have, by implication, attacked Trump in the past. So I don't think it's going to be very difficult for us to realise which side of the fence they're sitting on. I mean, I don't think that you're, that, that you're going to find her giving up her Duchess of Sussex title, whatever happens. I mean, some people, even if they divorce, you know, they continue to use the name by which they were known, especially if it's a rather grand name. Um, so I imagine she'll hang on to that for all it's worth, because that's, in a sense, what she can market. Um, you know, I've said this before, but there are lots of film stars and actresses who do charitable works and they do a lot of sometimes very good works. And she was doing a lot of that for the United Nations before she married Prince Harry. It all looked rather promising. Um, but of course, she didn't get nearly the same attention as she do uh, does when she does something now because she's married to him. They're in enough trouble as it is. I don't know whether people go to bother to make more trouble, but um, it's just it's just not right what they've done. It's just not right to do that. They shouldn't do it.